Hey everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Zora's upcoming airdrop, and it's pretty much been kind of confirmed by the team, so it's definitely worthwhile doing. And in this video, I'm going to be covering all the steps you need to take to most likely become eligible. And I'm really going quite in depth in this video, covering everything possible pretty much. So let's start off with what is Zora and that's valuation so basically it's an nft marketplace as you can see here it's an open source marketplace protocol which stands out in a crowded nft field and the investment values zora at 600 million dollars you can see here the funding round was 60 million but the valuation is 600 million which is incredible and you can see the investors here one ventures coinbase ventures uh, Kindred Ventures, you can see as well here, they have Paradigm, which is a really big fund as well. So that's all very, very bullish in terms of their backers. So that's always good to see. And if we have a look here, actually, it was recently updated in their terms of service under Section 5.6 under Rewards Programs. You can see here, but not be limited to airdrops of crypto assets to the wallet used on the services and you hereby agree that Zora may publish publicly available wallet activity through the services. So this pretty much confirms that they're planning at least to do an airdrop. So it's definitely worthwhile to look into it. And that's why everyone's talking about it, because it's really becoming super hyped because they're confirming it's an airdrop. It's an NFT marketplace. Everyone knows the blur airdrop was amazing. So everyone's grinding this one now and you should also definitely do it and not miss out. It's really easy to do. So let's go to step one. Very simple, you need to add it to your MetaMask. So you can go to chainlist.org and I'm going to put the link to this in the description of the video so you can easily click to all the websites and so on. You just click add to MetaMask here and it will pop up and you can add that network. I've already added it, which is why it shows here switch network. But if you click on that, it'll simply add it to your MetaMask and you're ready to go for all the steps. So the first step and the most obvious one is you're going to need some funds on Zora Network. So you're going to have to bridge from Ethereum to Zora Network. So you go to this website over here. I'm putting in here 0.1 Ethereum is what I want to bridge. Then you just make sure you're on deposit. If you click withdraw, then that's going to uh, bridge from Zora to Ethereum. So you want to bridge from Ethereum to Zora. Put in 0.1, click bridge. And here we go. I click confirm, success. So it says it's being added to your Zora balance. I click finish and it said I should it says I should receive it in about one minute time. Then I did bridge a bit earlier to test, and that is quite accurate. So now it's being bridged to my Zora network. So the next step you'll want to do is mint some NFTs. Of course, it's a NFT marketplace. So what better than minting NFTs and especially ones that are part of their collections? And they're pretty much free to mint anyways. So there's three of them here that I suggest you mint. The first one is this energy NFT. I'll leave all the links as usual. So it'll be uh, really easy for you guys. So I'm just going to click on over here. You see it will automatically ask to switch from Ethereum to Zora, which I will do. And then it will pop up here. I'll click on collect again. I just want to mint one of those. And I click confirm. So there we go. Now I'm minting this energy NFT. The next NFT I'm going to mint is this Rainbow Zorb Energy. So I actually need to reload this page quick. Then I just click on collect. Collect, you can see, well, in the meantime, my transaction confirmed for the other mint. And I'm going to confirm this one as well. So now I am minting the Rainbow Zorb Energy NFT. And the last NFT I'm going to mint of theirs is this one here. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I think Gitcoin or something, but you know, I'm just going to mint it. You can see it's free. You just pay a small, tiny service fee. So I'm going to confirm that. So I'm just covering all bases here, making sure I've minted everything possible that I'll be eligible. So I've minted those three, basically free to do. So why not? So now let's move to step four, which is to create a collection on Zora. So of course, since it's an NFT marketplace, creating a collection is something that will be very good to do, in my opinion, to make you eligible. So you just click there on create, I'm going to upload media, I'm just going to pick something random here. I'm going to click continue, I'm going to name it pro, description pro. I think it doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to click continue. I'm just going to type pro again and pro, and then continue again. And then I'm going to sell this for one Ethereum. <laughs> continue, continue, then uh, you review everything and create. 
there we go so i'm going to click confirm here and i'm pretty sure there we go i've created the zora nft collection for this random image i have edition created successfully deployed pro on zora so there we go setting up my mint page but that's pretty much done transaction also confirmed so all good i've created a collection the next step you want to do is go here to openpen.studio generate palette from image so i'm just going to choose this again and i'll just create a random avatar then you go to mint on zora so it's going to redirect you to zora so we wait for that and here you can see you can create an addition again so i'm just going to do this again and the symbol for this will be pro also and i'm just going to leave everything in i don't really care what it's written as so just going to leave that all in royalty five percent whatever payout address is my address and create so i'm just going to create that one as well and that should be done for this step so let's just see what's going to happen here collection created successfully deployed custom op pen by op pen studio on zora so that is another step done as you guys can see it's going really quickly very easy so next step which i think is kind of optional but i think it will increase your chances of being in the airdrop and that is buying one of their zorbs by zora which is our official collection of theirs and this will give you the zora uh the zorbs role on their discord so i think it's worthwhile doing this as well so what i'm going to do now well if you go on this website discord.zora.co you can see i'm connected here and it shows you the information about their discord and then if you connect your wallet, you'll be able to get a roll if you hold this Zorb, which I don't at the moment. So I'm going to have to buy one. So I'm just going to refresh this page, make sure I'm buying the cheapest one. I'm, I don't know if they're all the same or not, but I'm just going to buy the cheapest one since that should be able to get me the roll 0.035 Ethereum. So I'm going to click I understand. I have to switch back to Ethereum and I'm going to buy this. So gas fees are quite high, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to do this. Hopefully it'll help you guys out. So your purchase is processing. So we're going to wait for that to process. And once that is done and I've got the NFT, I should be able to connect my wallet here. Connect my MetaMask, same wallet that I used to buy. And then it should show here that I have that NFT. So let's see if that works. I need to sign here. So sign that. Remember to use a burner wallet as well. You don't want to use your main wallet and you know get direct or whatever since you're uh, interacting with quite experimental things. So you can see your roles. See, I've got a Zorb. So now it's Tixer and I've got it. So now if I go on their Discord, I will have that Zorb role. So that's all really easy and it worked very nicely. I did that for the first time and it was very simple. Then the last thing you want to do is actually bridge back from Zora to Ethereum. So I don't think this is going to be as important. Obviously, it's, it's not as important as bridging to Zora, but... Might as well do it. So I've got that 0.175. I'm just going to withdraw uh, 0 0.1. Um, okay. It seems quite uh, uh, quite intense here. Wait one hour, approve withdrawal, wait seven days, and then claim withdrawal. So I'm just going to... I'm actually going to do that with a bit less just because that is quite a hassle, to be honest. So I'm just going to do that and initiate withdrawal, confirm in wallet, and done. So... I'm actually going to be uh, bridging a bit more to Zora just because I'll, the more you bridge and the more volume you do, the more likely you will get a bigger airdrop. So I think it's worthwhile to do that. And I'll be doing that a bit more, playing around a bit, maybe minting some more NFTs and so on. So this I'm probably going to have to wait quite some time for this, but I think it's still worth doing. And then lastly, there's also a Dune dashboard, which shows you at the moment there's only 115,000 unique addresses. And you might think that's a lot, but it actually really isn't. If you compare that to, for example, Layer Zero and other airdrops, it's much more on those. So it's pretty early to get in. And here you can search your address and see a uh, number of collections, Ethereum buys and trades and so on to see how you're doing. That's also cool to check out. But as you can see, it's all really straightforward steps, really simple. I'll leave all the links in the description for you guys to make it as easy as possible. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. As always, I'd appreciate if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can keep making videos like these. Also, follow me on Twitter and join my Telegram group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.